In the far-reaching corners of Portugal, we discovered a hidden gem, a historic noble palace full of secrets and stories from the past. This magnificent palace was constructed in the early 18th century. Its rooms have been impeccably preserved, encapsulating the life story of a noble family that resided here over 20 years ago. The family, once notable figures of the community, amassed their fortune from the vast lands they owned. Interestingly, they were not only wealthy landowners, but also known for their charity work, often assisting the locals during hard times. João, the head of the family, an accomplished electrical engineer, his office is still littered with documents of his former occupation. This grand palace was shared with his wife and their four gifted children. As we step inside the palace, a world of marvel unfolds, revealing a series of captivating rooms. The magnificent dining area welcomes us with its numerous chairs arranged around a breathtaking skylight. While the exquisitely designed living space, undoubtedly the focal point of the house, radiates an internal beauty, it becomes clear to us that this place is a treasure trove, brimming with charm and allure at every single corner. Today, however, the once bustling palace stands in silence. Despite its historical significance, the descendants of the family have chosen different paths, leaving their ancestral home behind. Join us as we unravel its hidden mysteries and tell you the fascinating stories that have been kept secret for centuries. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bros of DK. I am Leslie and today I'm presenting you another incredible place from the country of Portugal. Behind the camera, my man Danny, like usual. Hello, hello everyone. I'm gonna do you the pleasure of not turning around the camera, Danny's a little bit sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But still, thank you so much for powering through and filming this place because this is an incredible building and you don't want to miss out on this one. You probably can already see it from the entrance hall. We're standing in a royal palace, everybody. And this place has been built in the late 1800s. Can you say the family names? Because it's very difficult for me. There are a lot of family names, yeah. but the last one is Sarmiento. Sarmiento, I think that's the most important one. Yeah. Okay, just let us show the, the front entrance hall. This was the part of this palace that had been built at first in the late 1800s by the forefathers of this family. Look over there, Danny, the Portuguese map, your country presented in all its glory. And this is not a normal map. Why not? This is agriculture map. Oh, really? Yeah. All of these spots and up there it says agriculture map. Okay. Did the borders change over the years actually? Because I know in Belgium sometimes the borders change a little bit. That's no. Uh, in Portugal all the borders are still the same, but we are still debating with Spain until this day about Olivença, which is somewhere around here. It's funny it's, that... It's like we, we say it's ours, they say yeah. it's them. Right now, if you look at it, it's from them, but most of the stuff that is there is Portuguese. Like the castle that is there yeah. is a Portuguese castle. So, I love yeah. that every single country in Europe has this one little disputed area. Yeah. It's not like a war or a fight, but it's just like, no, hey, no it's mine, no, it's At, mine. We have it in Belgium, the Netherlands has it, Germany has it, it's so yeah. funny. At this point, yeah, it's just funny. It's yeah. just funny. Look over here on the wall. Then you can definitely see that this was a very important, noble place. Look at the size of the keys that are here. All of them are still left behind and hanging here. That just gives such an authentic feeling to this place, in my opinion. The stairway itself 
built out of granite years ago. Look at the carvings that they made in it. Must have taken a long time to carve such a beautiful stairway. Oh yeah. And then over to this side, we have the front door of the place. It hasn't been opened in two decades. I think even longer because this part of the house is deteriorating and probably nobody used it anymore. Wow. Spider webs covering it. I love the stained glass that we hope have over there at the top. Wow. And then this little area over here where they probably invited their guests. Maybe they set them here for a coffee while they waited for somebody yeah, or something like that. A waiting room. Yeah. Small waiting room. They displayed some artifacts up here for the guests to look at. A world map up there. Absolutely beautiful, ancient world map. I'm always baffled how they could figure out how the world looked like back in those time periods before we had satellite and stuff like that. Typical Portuguese thing inside of a house. Tile worked into the wall with the initials of this house, João. 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 <laughs> I'm always yeah. pronouncing it wrongly. That, that's one of the hardest names to yeah. pronounce in Portuguese. And then these candle holders and a couple more things that make this hallway very authentic. Like these horns and this drinking flask, for example. Danny, I'm already in love with this place. Oh yeah. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. And the people are not ready for this. You are not ready at all. Let's go up. Let's check out this beauty. There are like things left behind everywhere. For example, this beautiful flask that we have over here. I'm shaking while I'm showing this. That's my level of excitement. You know what these balls are for? Oh no, these are these rocks. Just rocks. Okay. Okay, let's go up. Let's go into this place. Ooh. Here we come into a, some sort of a corridor of the house. Oh, wow. You're pointing at this <laughs> antler. Yeah, I haven't I, even seen it yet. I didn't you just saw I was going up the stairs and I was like, wow. That's amazing. Look but yeah, you were pointing this cor corridor yeah, that it's almost falling out. It's literally falling apart. I have to watch out where I'm walking. There are like pieces that came out of the floor there that literally broke down. You want me to go first? <sighs> it's your pleasure <laughs> if, if you want to. I mean, you just have to be careful. Be very, very careful. Watch out over there, Danny. I, I know what I'm doing. Be careful yourself because this is... Oh. You can literally look into the front yard of this place from here. That's the front yard. And the whole floor of this corridor has broken down. But this leads us into the main section of the house. The living space itself. I have no words to describe this. Yeah. Look at everything that we can see in here. All the artifacts of the former inhabitants of this place are still exactly how they left it behind years ago. Up here, we can immediately see some religious artifacts. This looks like an authentic paper that has been written by somebody in a religious field. Yeah. Can I just point out the light fixture? The light fixture. Made out of brass or copper, I think copper. Copper. Wow. For sure. And as you can see as well, like it's very typical in these places, the electricity has been added on later. From that you can figure out that this place has been built early 1900s, late 1800s, or even earlier than that, of course. The pictures of their three sons are left behind over here. One of these sons is named Antonio. You think are the sons? I'm pretty I sure. Or the grandson. There's, there's more pictures of three guys over here, but one of them, of the sons, is named Antonio. Shells. <laughs> Look at this massive one. I'm always baffled by how big the shells are on Portuguese beaches. Yeah. 
Did you know that if you put that into your ear, you can hear the sea? You actually can. You can? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. You can hear the sea wow. into a shell. That's also a saying we have in the Netherlands. Yeah, but, <laughs> but we, we, it's true, we do that. <laughs> and it, it, it literally sounds like the sea. A small shrine where they put up religious artifacts. I love how it's built and decorated. Yeah. It looks so ancient. And the me. wood, the wood looks it's very handmade. This doesn't even open up anymore. That's how stuck it is over the years. I think it's definitely handmade. Yeah. Even some rocks down there. You can see this they used to put up religious artifacts like these pictures and candles and they would burn a candle on here and there would be a Bible inside of here. Very beautiful to see. You can close it up. See how beautifully hand painted this one is. Wow. And over here, they had some sort of an altern with a statue. How, how, how do we call this? A pilgrim or something like that? A Where's scent? This? A scent, yeah. So this is a statue. These candle holders around it. Have we seen this before in Portugal? Because this is a very Portuguese thing, I would say, right? Uh, seen what? To have this altar and built like that inside oh, of the yeah. house. Oh, yeah. Encaved into the wall, yeah, yeah, yeah. part of the living space, part of the people, where the people lived. These two chairs in front of it, beautiful wooden chairs. Okay, let's go further through this door into the next room. Let's check out what we have over here. Here we come into the next room of the house. And this looks like it used to be the office of Mr. Joao. Am I pronouncing that right? Joao. 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 It's the same name as your father, right? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. a very common name in Portugal. I have to, Joao, I have to say that right next time Joao. when I see your father. <laughs> yeah. Look over here. This is where the, this is the desk where he actually conducted all of his work. His papers are still left behind. These are ink jars, right? Yep. All the inked would be inside of here. You can see how beautiful it's still designed. The fox in there, copper design work on there, and even the pens and everything that he wrote with are still left behind. Is the Portuguese crest worked into these pens? Yep, I think so. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. You can see all the ink jars are also still left behind over here. He needed a lot. Probably wrote a lot of things, worked a lot. All the compasses that he used. Compass. 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 Are still left behind. And this is actually because Mr. Joao was a engineer uh, and he worked a lot with these things. He needed to make exact measurements, drawings, and he used all of these tools in his day to day work. This might have been a picture of him. Yeah, most likely. This is outside on the, on the balcony. Yeah, I also think so. I was looking at it and I was like, mm. beautiful woman down here. I think this used to be a picture, but it's completely faded away. Yeah, there's nothing visible anymore of it. Let's see if there's anything in here. I'm super curious. Oh, it's still full of stuff. Look at this stamp that we have over here. Wow. This is probably the stamp with his signature, as you can see. Yeah, probably. Think it still works? Not really. Oh. Oh, yeah. João something. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot so even th read that's it. the surname. Some someone someone. I cannot read that. No. I cannot. Beautiful. And even the drawings that he made are still left behind in here. Look at this of lamps, measurements, all kinds of things. Wow. You can see this one behind here. Whoa, this is a very beautiful one. This is of an oil lantern that's converted into an electrical lantern. It's absolutely beautiful. Have you seen this one, Danny? Ooh. It says Dictionnaires Portuguese, Dictionnaires Extra 
foreign languages. Foreign languages and then various books. Various books. Wow. And that's probably this bookcase that we have over here to the side. All these books. So these are the Portu Portuguese dictionaries, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, but those are not dictionaries. Okay. And down here, I think it's all got mixed this, up over the years. Yeah, this is more, you see, Life of Christ. This more is a Bible. Books. Yeah, it's books from all over the place. Maybe it's another shelf that he has yeah. in the house. So so many but beautiful these books, books left here. These books are very old. Wow. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I have to be very careful with these books. They're so beautiful. And I see the cover. I think this is a Latin Bible. You think it's handwritten? No, it's printed, no, right? No, no, no. Yeah, it's printed. This is pressed and printed. Oh, this should be left behind in a house like this. Oh, look at this miniature one. Oh, I have one of those. Is this a it's dictionary? A dictionary. Uh, I have one with a Portuguese French, and this one is. Can you show me the, the front of it? What? It's a German dictionary. Yeah? Yeah. Futter, Flammenbaum. <laughs> okay, German word. Yeah, it says oh, over yeah. There. Portuguese. German. German. Wow, this is so cool. This is a yeah. super small dictionary. It's a pocket, yeah. It's a pocket dictionary. Pocket dictionary. Oh, there's another dictionary here. Okay. Down here, they also have a very small stone collection, as you can see. All these different types of stone that they found everywhere, crystal in them. So many papers left behind, books and everything. This probably has been collected by the family over the hundreds of years that they left here. Have you seen this on the table? Yeah. The Portuguese crests and flags and everything. Wow. This is the official crest of Portugal, right? Yes. With the castles? This part. Okay. This was old. That's the old part here. Castles, the five coins, five kinas. And then this is the crest of uh, the. It's also a Portuguese emblem, it's, right? It's a Portuguese. It's, it's, it resembles Portugal because this was used in the medieval times. Okay. This also represents the Templars and yeah. also represents. I just wanted to say that it looks yeah. like a very Templar the yeah. emblem from the Templars. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of the cross of Christ, but in yeah. a military version. Can I just point out one thing? Absolutely. Look at this. Beautiful lantern hanging it's here. Beautiful. It's so simple, but I love, love it. Can you imagine a time when there was still a candle burning inside of here, lining up, oh, excuse me, this room yeah. with this sort of, yeah, yeah. authentic feeling. I, I still feel it when I'm in here. I still feel that authentic feeling inside of this building. And then these wonderful cabinets with this curtain in front of it. Of course, still filled to the brim with booklets, with scrolls, with everything you can imagine. See, this is all from his work over the years. Maybe these are like drawings from the house. Looks like drawings from the house. Yep, this is uh, from the house, yeah. Yeah, wow. These are the architectural plans of this place. Excuse me, I'm dropping stuff. This looks like a military thing, or post. Yeah. No, military, right? I have no idea. I don't know. Is there something in the back? No. No, it's nothing written on it. I have no it. idea. Even. And there's, there's another flag there. That's a pretty big one. Oh, oh, wow. That is a beautiful flag, everybody. Yeah. Look at that one. <gasps> Whoa. I would love to own a flag like that. Yeah. But we never take anything. And then, of course, a handwritten letter also left in here. Bro, I'm already in love with this room and we have not even seen 10% of this house. More pictures of the family, of the boys that lived here. This could have been the father, Joao. So many pictures of these people left behind. Look at that. Probably when he got uh, 
is what's it called? The communion? Baptism. Baptism? This is a vintage picture, everybody. This young man. I mean, baptism is when you're born, but community is, there's a lot of stuff, yeah. religious stuff. I sometimes lost track of. I think that's communion. <laughs> yeah. This, everybody, is, a, is the crest of the household with all the family names worked into it. And then here we got a marriage picture of Joao and Donna, the people that lived in this place. One last thing in this room is this built-in library to this side. And then we go back to the main room. I cannot believe that we are inside of here. You know that first feeling when you step in a place like this? That excitement? Yeah. And disbelief of the things that you are seeing? Yeah, and the things that are abandoned. It's crazy. Yeah, we keep surprising ourselves every single time we visit a new place. Like, I always say to Danny, this is like, we cannot top this. And then we yeah. come into a place like this and bam, yeah. <laughs> there we are again. Have you looked? That Templar sign that was just on the flag is also here on the ceiling. Yeah. And in this ceiling you can see these Portuguese elements coming back, this architecture coming back. You will not see a ceiling like this anywhere else in the world, except for Portugal. Very typical. The same as that bench. This one or that one? This, this is a chair. I have to argue with you because this bench you sometimes see in France. Yeah. But the one that's divided that we always show, that's a very Portuguese thing. But I will give you this bench has por uh, Portuguese style to it. Yeah. yeah. And the chairs, of course, match this bench. I love the upholstery on it. And this light blue color. Gray. Sorry, color blind. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful carvings everywhere. Did you guys actually produce your own antiques? Is that a thing in Portugal? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We work a lot with wood. Yeah. So yeah, Okay. back in the day, a lot of it's this furniture is, was, we made it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's lovely to see because every European country has like their own style of antique furniture. And yeah. Yeah, 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 Belgium true. has its own style, the Netherlands has its own style, France, Italy, any, any country. And that's also so beautiful on the videos, you can see it uh, because they're, they're all different. different yeah. Again, I think these are the forefathers. This woman we just saw hanging there in the, uh, next to the desk. And this is probably her husband back in the time. Beautiful antler of an animal that I don't know, but uh, maybe they hunted this one. Looks maybe like an antelope. An African antelope, an animal that you shouldn't hunt. Very big antlers. No idea. This is the outside of the house. Let me show you a drone shot as well right now. This is the place how it looked like back in the time. 1973, it said over here. So the house was finished by then? Yeah, probably. So they constructed this place in sections. They first started with the place over here and then later on they built on things like the kitchen and more bedrooms and the upstairs and stuff like that. More pictures on the wall over here. This jo Donna and Joao, Joao, I'm saying it wrong again probably. Yeah, but they're not them. You don't think so? No, because that's in black and white and they look very old. That looks like a very old picture, that's true. A young man. Don't know who he is. Again, we've got the same chair over here as well. And I love these windows that we have over here. Let me talk a little bit about them. You can see on the outside, they have this bluish color. This is blue, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they can close up. This, this is the only section that closes up, so you can open it a little bit, mm -hmm. but you can also fully open this window up. And do you know why they have these sort of benches built into here? Is it just to sit or? It's just to sit. Just to relax. It's just to Very relax. obvious. Could have another function, but. No, it's just to sit. In this case, it's just to relax. It's nice to sit, it's nice to sit next to a window and read. Yeah, absolutely. Something that we should do more often nowadays. All the pictures of the boys. 
They, wow, they look like six different people. No. They are six different people. Do you think there were six sons in this place? Yeah. Would you would you have repeated photos no, of, of the same per person? No. So there might have been six sons in this place. Wow. Grandsons, I think. Could have been the case. We are not 100% sure about the amount yeah, of children. There are so many people connected to this yeah. family that we don't know. You're going to see it in a second. There's a very large family picture. This is the same woman as we saw before with the same man. And then their child. Lovely display of pictures, but it always saddens me to see such things left behind. This bench is a very Portuguese bench. That's what I'm always talking about. These you don't see anywhere else in the world. This is literally Portuguese. Divided individual seat rests. And I see that they also have a sort of harp designed in the back of it. Looks very beautiful. With the, with the goose. Yeah, goose handles. Yeah. <laughs> this is the picture I was just talking about. Oh my Look God. Look at that. The complete family together with here. This is probably the most important man of the family. And everybody that is sort of related to this family is inside of this picture. And then right above it, we have their crest. Multiple versions actually of their crest. You can see the crests inside of the crest changing. <laughs> How do you call that individual part of it? I don't know the image. The, yeah. I don't know. Here again, it's a completely different one again. To be honest with you, I think this one, just this part is their crest. The other ones are, for example, when you married someone, mm -hmm. you then join. They merge together. Yeah. yeah. If you look at the ceiling again over here in this section, you can see the crests as well coming back. And that's the one that you were just referring to. Yeah, exactly. That's the crest of the family, we think. But there are multiple crests over here on the ceiling. It's absolutely beautiful that they gave so much attention and they had so much value to, to their heritage and their nobility. Of course, they are noble people, of course they're going to care about. Yeah, these people held a lot of land in this town, they had some influence in this town and you can see it, they, they showed it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I would say also this one is also a pretty Portuguese bench. Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't see it anywhere much more than Portugal. <laughs> that one next to it. Cool, right? Yep. I love it. Also with the Nash, very Portuguese. How do you call this Nash? I, th I think it's Nash, if I'm not... Mesh, I think. Me mesh. 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 mesh, referring okay. to it. Mesh. Yeah, I was looking for the word, but it's Mesh. It's like a sunbathing chair, but then inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, this might have been from the 50th anniversary. Anniversary, yeah. So many things to look at inside of this place. You never are finished. Dead nature from the... 1906. This painting is 115 years old. Jeez. Wow. This one is falling apart. You can see this individual pieces literally broke off over the years. And then a small coffee table here in the middle of the room. With this fan on top of it that's completely broken up. I'm not going to pick it up, then I will break it even more. But here you could drink a coffee, enjoy yourselves. Small hammers. Yeah. Do you have any idea what their purpose is? I mean, I th I'm not quite sure, but I think it's from the piano behind you. I think. Oh, how do you, are these to hit the snares? The? the snares, and the inside of the, the piano. Chords. The chords. The snares? Snares, I think it's called snares. Yeah? I'm not sure. I am also not sure. <laughs> we are clearly European. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Look at this beautiful piano behind us here. It's very out of tune. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. But it's a wonderful piece, to my opinion. And this book is not of this piano, look at that. No, those are, the, those are the crests, the family crests. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see where this one is made. 
Oh, my glove stuck. Oxford Street, London. London. Oh, there's a, there's a piano from London. I've not seen that before, I think. No? No. You have to put this. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll fall. Have you seen the animal above here? Yeah. A ferret or something like it is? It's a very big animal. It doesn't really look like a yeah, ferret. Yeah, ferret is more small. Is it not native to Portugal, you think? I don't think so. I don't recognize it. I always find it a little, little bit saddening to see these animals inside of these places. It's a bit sad, in my opinion, if they are... It, it, it depends. If you kill it and yeah. you, you do it... If, if it's like uh, your pet that died and you just... That's different. That's different. true. Yeah. More pictures of the family having picnics outside, as you see over there. Probably here, they are sitting in front of this building. Here you can even see more vintage pictures of the family itself. Wow. You can see this one is again a picture from the army, when they were in the army. Another complete family picture behind here. You can really get a sense of the size, the enormous size of such a noble Portuguese family. Wow. I think we have to show this room one more time because this is something else, something like we have never seen before. I can literally look at this the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely incredible. It's true. Okay. This house keeps surprising me. Every single room holds something special. And the room that we are standing in right now used to be the grand dining space of this place. I sometimes say, look at how many chairs there are. So many people lived in this house, but they of course were important and they had big dinner parties and that's why they needed such a big table to accommodate all their guests and people yeah. that came over. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's enough chairs for this whole family. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look at the beauty of these chairs. Wow, completely carved. Beautiful upholstery, leather work. Everything on these chairs is amazing and they're still in great condition to yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Shame on this bird that <laughs> did this. <laughs> Danny, that's the chandelier that the father was drawing in that drawing over there that we just saw on the desk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside that's exactly the, the same chandelier. Exactly the same shape. Same shape. You're losing words, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just baffled by the things that we are seeing. That stained glass the skylight over there. Magnificent, flooding, colored light into this place. It must have been magnificent. It still is magnificent, but it's yeah, a little bit dirty. dirty. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be clean. I think if you clean it up, and when it's a nice, shiny, sunshiny day, then yeah, yeah, for it's sure. beautiful in here. Even one more chair, I, I don't know, if you need more people over. Beautiful cabinets. Again, this typical, typical Portuguese style, to my opinion. Oh yeah, you know how I know? Because it's tall, it's even taller than you. Yeah. I don't know why, we are so small, but we like to make things tall. And back in the day, you guys were even smaller than you yeah. are now. But we still made it high. Yeah. Don't know why. I think it's to show nobility, to show that you yeah. have money. And yeah. also to, to serve as decoration, because this is just to yeah, those things up top you never use. That's no. only to oh, look no, at. No, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just like these, these plates or these these lids that you have over here on the wall. I don't want to even touch them, but no, no, no. This don't. is just all decoration. Never yeah. gets used. Yeah, true. What would you serve in this? Like soup or something? Uh, no, I think, or or hot water or cold, to keep the the room warm. But I'm not sure. Okay. Like kind of a sauna effect? Like steam? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. If someone in the comments could tell us, but I think it's that. You know? I'm just wondering what it is because you have this sort of scoop 
and maybe you can scoop something out of out of here and yeah, yeah, take know. it that way. Again, as somebody knows, always welcome to write down there what your thoughts are. Sometimes we just know the, don't know the objects and then it's really nice if somebody can explain it to us and we can learn from it. And that's yeah. that's what we love to do. Of course. All still pristinely stacked in here. Look at that one, Danny. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. This is probably one of the first times that I see a portrait inside of a porcelain piece. <laughs> Incredible. No words for it. <laughs> and these glasses as well. I just love them. You know what these glasses are for? Port. Yeah, this one is. <laughs> I would love to drink some port out of that. <laughs> For who doesn't know, port is the Portuguese drink from Porto. And only wine produced in Porto can be called port. Yep. Again, one of the sitting areas we have over here. But have you looked above it? Have you seen that? That's again the cross coming back. But this one looks a little bit different. And it's me and Danny just had a little discussion about it before we started filming. Yeah, we had to Google it. <laughs> we had to Google it. <laughs> this is the Cross of the Order of Christ. No, the Cross of the Templars. Templars Cross. And the other cross that we showed you on the flag is the Cross of the Order of Christ. Exactly. They look the same, but they aren't the same. This one is filled in and the other one isn't and it's a little bit different shape. Yeah, this is more round and the yeah. other one is more, more kind rough of edges. Straight. Yeah. yeah. This, so, they are different. They are from the same uh, time period. Yeah. But they are just, they mean different orders. Yeah, exactly. In Portugal. Portugal had a very complicated and difficult history. Not and complicated, it's just, it's just a long, long, long history. With lots of orders, lots of lots, things, lots, lots of, of military games. and lots of yeah. medieval stuff. So. And that makes it sometimes, yeah, a little bit, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's cool. Oh, yeah. Then he's pointing to this cabinet. I think he saw something. <laughs> yeah, of course, look at that. All the liquors of the family that they used to serve to their guests are all still inside of here. Look at these balls down here. These I don't think they'd serve to their guests. I think it was literally for their day to day when they was mm -hmm. when they were having dinners or lunch. Still filled as you can see, still bottled up. Wow. He even has a stamp on wow. the bottom of it. I don't even want to know how old this wine is. Yeah. There's even sediment in the bottom of this one. Jeez. Look at the label. <laughs> Gone. This is absolutely crazy. And over here to this side, we've got even more liquors. I cannot believe this place. Yeah. And then this cabinet to this side. He barely, he barely fits. It's literally made for this room. Probably they ordered it to size. <laughs> Probably. And look at all the cups that are still neatly dangling from their hooks inside of here to serve the coffee from. I want to look on the back side of one of these cups to see the stamp that we have on there. Electro. It's, I'm, I'm not familiar with this brand. Neither Impresa. Can I? Yeah, looks at it's Spanish or Portuguese? Vigaya. Vigaya. No, Portuguese. You got ceramic, yeah, Portuguese. Yeah. It's it's ceramic, Portuguese ceramic. Those ones are also Portuguese ceramic. I know it. Oh, these are wonderful. I know it because my grandmother has the exact same. Yeah, show them up close. I'm not gonna take them out. Yeah, but they are just wonderful. Oh, I always love to see these kinds of cabinets that are still completely intact with such fragile objects. Nobody stole them, nobody vandalized them. And that's the point when you know you're dealing with a true time capsule. Postcards? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. Postcards. See over here, you can see that the building is slowly deteriorating. Watch out, Danny. The floor has the same problem. Oh yeah. Whew. Very, very careful, because if you fall, you fall straight into the basement. Yeah, and there's no way to get out from the basement. Nope. <laughs> and then I want to have one last look to this side. 
Of course, the Last Supper on the wall here, com carved completely out of wood. That is just beautiful work. Yeah. And then these three chairs standing here, waiting for the next guests to come. Maybe I want to look at these as well. Have any idea? No, I don't know what these are. But, 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 but. Maybe if, do you know? I have, um, uh, I'm, I have a wild guess, but I don't think I know, no. Okay, I again, if you know, let us know. Yeah. Blankets? Mm, no. This doesn't look like a chest for blankets. No. Ooh, this is a special chest. I have no idea what this is for. It looks like a refrigerator or like a cooling box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe cooling, it, like it's a very interesting thing, but back in the time it used to be a, an option for rich people to order ice from the north. And then they could literally order ice, put it in such a cooling box, like, and then they could keep stuff cool. I read articles about it and it's a very fascinating thing. I don't know if so it's... So maybe that was for that? I maybe. No Me neither. But it's very cool to find a ancient fridge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I was already walking to the next room. You know what this is? A brush that fits with the pen. Is this pen? Yeah. But it's not a very handy one. <laughs> yeah, but look at how beautiful it is. Yeah. Wow. wow. Chinese. Asian, Chinese, Chinese design on there. Yeah, beautiful. Sorry to interrupt your no. work, but I just, just saw it in the corner of my eye. <sighs> Impressed with this room. I'm just gonna look like it. <laughs> general excitement. <laughs> Have you ever seen a kitchen like this before? Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Absolutely no words. When I talk about an ancient kitchen, this is what I'm referring to. I've never seen anything like this before. Starting I don't even know where to start. <laughs> oh my god, you literally got a globe smack. Yeah. Jeez. Starting with this, this butcher's table. Let's just start here, Danny. Yeah. And probably this is where they prepared food with a cut meat, cut Marble? fat. Marble. I think it's, yeah. Marble. So, yeah, probably. And then this lantern hanging here above there. Wow. Have you looked underneath it already? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, you're gonna make a lot of wow, these are heavy. Wow. You know what this reminds me of? Oh, these are heavy. Dude, it's just not supposed for you to lift it. I know. This is the hang above a fireplace, right? Yes. And these remind me of, of course, of the movies of witches that would cook potions. But it's actually just to cook soup and stuff like that. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to put it back without making a ton of noise. Wow. And there are actually multiple of these underneath here, ranging from big ones to a very tiny one on this side. They also have these lids that fit on top of there. It's just cook pots. But yeah. Yeah. Wow. Over here to this side. Um, oh, no, I'm gonna start over here, <laughs> to this side. Let's look what we have in this cabinet. Still completely filled 
with all the spices and utensils and everything that this family used to use. You think that this was a family that had maids, that had servants? I don't know. M most likely, if they are novel, yeah, most likely. Most likely, yeah. So and then those servants, those maids would most likely work in this kitchen for them. All the pots, all the things are still left here. I love these ones on top of here. They are made out of clay, right? Uh, I have no idea. Pottery, to, this? I have no idea how to say in English. Yeah. Wonderful pieces. Is this to take something out of the fireplace? Looks like it, right? To probably take a pot or something like that out of a fireplace or to hang something from. I think it's to hang something from, yeah. yeah. And you use their weight to balance it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Look at these latches that hold down this cabinet over here. Whoa, that's Close moldy it. inside yeah. of here. Close it. Just love how they function. Built in shelves over here. The old candles still lying here, unburned, laying there forever. <laughs> what would you store in these kinds of pots? Water, I think. That's a good uh, examination. These are the lids for the pots so the tree doesn't fall into it. And again, another beautiful part of this kitchen. The sink is massive. Yeah, marble sink. Completely carved out marble sink. I wanted to test the water, but it's yeah. not working anymore. But, but you, you see how you know that this part was built on later? Mm, no. Not only you have water from, from the... From oh, the but the sockets are... All... <laughs> this was not on. No, just shut it. Okay, okay. The electricity still functions here. I'm even more baffled than I was before. Oh. Like you probably hear me hesitating speaking. That's just because I'm just an awestruck of this place. And and you're not seeing the face behind my the camera. Like I'm, I was not expecting that at all, at all, like zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. One thing, I want to see this huge lamp working here. <laughs> just, okay. Paulo, I have to call my friend. Paulo, come have a look. Come inside. <laughs> have you seen? Yeah. <laughs> so we are with Paulo, a friend of ours here, and, and he has probably also not seen this yet, but... <laughs> this is insane. I'm just, what? Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. People, this is something that only can happen in a country like this. A place so untouched, a time capsule like we've never seen before. Electricity still working. Yeah. It's amazing. Have you seen this section of the kitchen already? Yeah. This is where they had their fire, their their cooking area, as you can say, where those pots would hang above the fireplace. And it's also a very architecturally unique section of the house. It has a hexagonal, hexagonal <laughs> round. I have no idea how to say that yeah. word. Uh, uh, six corners, I would say, <laughs> <laughs> to make it easy. It's actually a chimney. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, this whole place functioned as a, fu a fireplace, a chimney. A skylight slash chimney slash fireplace area. Yeah, everything, because you can chill here. Yeah. These things behind you. Benches where they could sit on. Are literally benches that you can just sit on and just watch the fire. You could cook literally in the middle of this. I feel like this was also a place in the house where the people would sit and just enjoy a drink or something and just sit uh, around the fireplace. Not really. Or maybe they sat here just to watch the food cook. The food cook and just, for example, in the winter when it's yeah. too cold. See, these are the benches we were talking about before. They open up. Those oh. don't open up. Oh, these don't open up. A footrest. Oh, yeah. The family crest is also worked into the benches. <laughs> and also there's... 
There are so many details in this house that you just overlook things from time to time. Yeah, my eye catches. <laughs> this one doesn't function anymore. Look at the bellow. It still functions. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Let's put it back neatly how we found it. And then, of course, the fireplace itself. The eagle at the top. Is that an eagle? Probably it is. Yeah. All the tools for the fireplace are still there. Look at that. Neatly hanging here. The vise. The turn around the blocks in the fireplace. The last ashes when they're last cooked inside of here are still left in there. And I love that it's like you see when they're burned, all the burned things, all the burned. <laughs> <laughs> when they burn things, yeah. everything gets burned. Yeah. Everything gets burned. That's what I'm trying to say. Still, still awestruck by this place. <laughs> yeah. This this place is taking words away. Yeah. It's just I don't have words for this place. It's, it's insane. Okay. Then I want to show you the side entrance of the house, where probably the people came in on a daily basis. If you were part of this family, yeah. one thing. This is the crest of the Order of Christ. Exactly. This is the crest of the Templars. Exactly. And this is the crest of Portugal. Exactly. This is the yes, Templars. Yes, you got Portugal. them all right. Yeah. But what is this crest then? Uh, it's another crest. <laughs> it's another crest. It's, I told you, like we have orders, and all of them have a cross because it's the cross of Portugal, the cross of Port, the, uh, of Christ, but they all mean different things. This one, I don't remember, but I think it's the cross of the Templars, but in another time period. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> no love worries. history. But and I love it as well, but it's so, it's so it's much. It's very, it's yeah. very, very long. Yeah. All the keys of the household are still left behind in here. And they even say like garage, a name that I cannot read, but Salon. Yeah. This, what is it? Uh, Salon, it's the, the the big hall. The big hall. Haven. Yeah. Forum. Wow. Big, All the keys. Big gate. Yeah. Everything. Everything is still here. See this bench even has. Oh god. A small table that can fold out. Yeah. And they can sit here and have a drink like this. That, that looks like the, what modern cars have. You know. You know what I'm saying? Modern cars have? Yeah, the, 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 the rest in the back. Oh, this, the, the hand rest. Yeah. Yeah, that you could fold the middle seat down. That's yeah, what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah that's it true. is. You see, yeah. we had it back in the day. Yeah, in the day. <laughs> back in the day, you had it. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. I have to point out the scales and everything still yep. neatly hanging here. Those are very particular scissors hanging there. They have a, a function that I don't remember anymore what, what the function was. No. They look a little bit like no bonsai idea. scissors, but I'm not 100% sure. I have no idea. Wow. Want to have one last look in here? There's nothing. No. Nothing much. Interesting. much. See that place, these buckets everywhere, because it's slowly starting to rain inside of this place. Yeah. It's cracking apart, it's falling apart, as you can see. Solid. There's another room over here. <laughs> Watch out There's for the step. step. Yeah, I was just checking my height on here, but uh, I can fit through here. Yeah, so okay, yeah. Here is, um, I think, an informal dining area in the house. Probably also a breakfast area. Um, this is probably where the family always had dinner together. You can even see they had a small television here in a corner, a corner, nothing fancy, nothing special, but just a place where they could watch and uh, keep up with things. Of course, the typical, the plates on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> what did you expect? Everywhere. It's Everywhere. Portugal. <laughs> it's it's a very typical thing to see those in the in the kitchen and the and the dining areas. I mean, yeah, uh, the plates yeah. on the wall. Exactly. They give a feeling of this is a place for food. <laughs> yeah. Your mother has it as well, right? My grandmother. Your my grandmother. My mother, no. No. Look at this. These are actually very small chairs, not so fancy chairs. That's why we call it the informal dining area. A nice cushion on there. Just a nice place to have dinner 
with the whole family, as you yeah. can see. Big table, lots of chairs. Must have been fun and to be in here and have dinner with them together. Lovely lantern above there as well. If you turn around, Danny. If I turn around. They also had one of those cabinets inside of this room. And it's all still, also still neatly filled with all the cups, all the glasses and all the plates that they needed inside of this room. If you open a thing like this up after all those years, it has this particular scent that yeah. you guys unfortunately cannot smell through the camera, but that we have come all too familiar about because we always smell it when we come to these places. Marble top. Spider webs, literally everywhere after all these years. I think this was some sort of a storage room behind the kitchen area, just a story. Yeah, like you see the fridge is here. There is a calendar here on the wall from 1970, 50 years ago. But this is just a room to store all the food that they need throughout to cook. <laughs> okay. seen this over here, Danny? Yeah. There's a basement in this place. And I'm excited to see it because from this place, I expect something from the basement. Yep. Okay, it's a very narrow place in the house. Also looks like it has been constructed later on. Lots of storage everywhere. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I don't think you can construct a basement later. That's true. But yeah. <laughs> that's bullshit. <laughs> but this was one of the most important parts of the house. Yeah. Because that's where they produced their wines. Almost everything. Their wines, their vegetables. I don't think they produced wine. I think they produced olive oil. Ah, okay. And uh, creation of an, a creation of creation of animals. Yeah. No, I'm not saying the correct word. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> I get what you're saying, yeah. but look at this. It's, it's kind of strange. There's like all these these new looking barrels here in the basement. It's been locked up. Yeah, 2005. Oh, that's pretty recent. Don't can 40 liters of what? I don't know. Of what. Can we open it? I don't think. I mean, no, I don't no. think you can. Let me see if I can read something here. 73 liters? No, we just... It's a small calculation. I have no idea what it is. And they are all... All closed. Yeah. So weird. Have you seen this, Danny? Yeah. There's like a glass protruding into the basement, so probably you can see it from upstairs somewhere. Probably from one of the bedrooms. Yeah. It's like, what's the purpose of that? To, to give light uh, here? Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Then you don't need lights in the basement. Yeah. Very smart. <laughs> Very smart. Wow. The whole basement is full of spider webs. Nobody has been here in like forever. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> you have to shine me a light because I feel like I'm going to walk into a spider web. You already any... did. I'm probably full of spider webs. I can right? see on your back that you already did. Whoa, the spider webs everywhere. They are, in, they are huge. Look at this, Danny. <laughs> Have you seen? Yeah. The hundreds of bottles that are left behind here. I want to. I think if I take no, one I out, know. everything was going to fall. It's like perfectly in place right now. If you take yeah. one bottle out of there, the whole thing collapses. Jeez, this is insane. <laughs> I'm not going to go over there. Yeah. 
I think people you can just see that. Gonna the turn whole... around slowly. Oh my god, the spider webs are so huge. Oh, I'm not scared of spiders, but I'm gonna get a little bit scared of walking through here. Oof. You see. have a massive spider web in your back, yeah? and you already are oh. full dirty. Can you take it out? <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Whoa, that's yeah. crazy. Okay. Okay, done. Let's go further in this basement. Like storage. Nah. I think in the beginning this was for animals. Yeah. But now it was turned into something else. Yeah, perhaps. This part of the basement is pretty empty. Yeah. Jeez. Doors make a lot of noise. Pretty large basement, ah, of course it runs underneath the whole house. Big chest to store things, probably also to store food and vegetables and anything they would produce and farm and yeah. Yeah, not much. Not much indeed. Okay. Let's go further here upstairs now. Who a very long corridor. Yeah. Lady, probably going to a messed ball, looking at herself and the vanity. Beautiful. And this leads us right into the most private parts of the house, the bedrooms. And the first one is over here. Go inside, my sir. Thank you. Oh, this looks like a children's bedroom, to my opinion. Very small bed. It is a children's bedroom. Danny? Do you see it? Oh, he, yeah. These are the glasses. That They don't look like glass, but they are. And these are the skylights for the basement. Yeah. Three of them. Can I just also point out one thing? Yeah, sure. You see these paper lays on the floor? What does it say? <laughs> it says, watch out. <laughs> hole on the floor. <laughs> There's literally a hole here. Yep. <laughs> Who would have placed that there? The owners of this place? No, I think some explorer yeah. just for us to be careful. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> So please be careful with the hole. I will be careful. I will walk around it. Beautiful bedroom though. All the pictures around it. I think you're able to show those without falling through the floor. No, I think it's safe, yeah. I think this mana, we already saw it in the big picture, right? Yeah, he was the one that I pointed out as the most important man of the household. These pictures are from the beginning of the 1900s. They're yeah. really old. You can that, see. That, that it is. Here's the man again, the old man. I think he's a time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that photo is really interesting. Six boys. Like we saw in the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. The six boys of the household. And Rita. Rita is also part of the household. But that's a girl's name. Yeah. We're going to see her name going back later as well. Look at this, Danny. Wow. Here we see one girl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boys or girl? Boys? boys one, one girl. girl. Here. These we have seen going back so many times already. The forefathers of this family. Danny, I have a question for you. What? Oh, I almost Watch out. Don't fall into the hole. No worries. What's inside uh, this chest? We're gonna play the game again. Actually, yeah. it's so obvious. Yeah, it's really obvious. I think blankets. Blankets. Of course. <laughs> Beautiful chest, though. All the blankets still neatly inside of there. Have you shown the chandelier above here already? Oh, I haven't even noticed it. Oh it's my a god. Massive wooden chandelier. And this is just for a bedroom. Yeah. Wow. Every part of the house has been thought about. Look at the fault in the corner here. Isn't that incredible? Why would you have a fault inside of a bedroom? The number A to Z combination lock. Mm, yeah, A to Z. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is crazy. These are these typical vaults that we see in these abandoned places. Let's see. What's this? Oh, that's so cursive. 
this like an accountancy book of some sort? Uh, kind of. It's just something that they wrote the expenses. 146,000 euros? Not euros, scooch. It's the old coin of Portugal. Oh, wow. And this is like the expenses of the family then? Mm, yeah. Or from their business of some sort. How much is one scooters? Or how much scooters is one euro? I have no idea. I don't think it's even a, a cent. I don't think it's like, it's nothing. Okay, it's very old everybody. But these are the accountancy books from the family, from their business. Of course, they were noble, but they still had to earn money as well. Otherwise, they couldn't survive. Yeah. Love, the scent, also on top of here. Christ. Christ, excuse me. All the religious artifacts everywhere. This one I've, we have also seen coming back a lot of times. Is it like a, uh, like for these saints? Incense. Incense, yeah. That's the you word see, I was talking You see this table? Uh, table. It's, to, it's, it's uh, a new modern table, yeah. but to resemble an old one. Because yeah. those types of legs are from the 1750s. Yeah. Um, and they're called cabriol. Cabriol. Yeah, but they are not original because they are cut. Yeah, you can see that this is so, plastered. Yeah, around, this, cut. yeah, this is fake, but it's to resemble that. It still looks beautiful, to my opinion. Yeah, not like the original ones. I've seen these ones before, uh, but this oh, yeah. this resembles it yeah. pretty neatly. <laughs> All our games are in here: battle, navy battle, race games, anything you can imagine. There's some clothes and everything, some traditional clothes? Uh, no, those are curtains. Oh, curtains, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, what a room. What's that? Uh, these are pages from uh, an honor book. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what honor book it is, but I don't know. Wow. Original? Yeah, or, yeah. You, you see, you can see it is original because it's sh it shines. The gold parts are gold, it shines. But that's just left behind like that in this place. That's why we never share the location of these places because these things need to be preserved like this forever. Even though they are abandoned. Wonderful bench again here in the hallway. And I think this one does open up. No, it doesn't. No, uh, it doesn't. I just, yeah, I'm just oh, yeah, it, to see it. It's not no, big it's not. enough. Otherwise, it would be all the way the down. Way down. Not, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. I love this picture that we have. This is actually a picture, everybody. And uh, this is a picture yeah. of, of uh, the picture of the old time. You can see a dog here. You can see the cart here. This looks like a stone wheel that it has on it. A stone? Yeah. Or a wooden wheel, I'm not sure. No, it's iron wheel. Wow. Here, <laughs> traditionally plowing the field with two cows in front of it. And this man is already putting the seeds in yep. the ground afterwards. The stairway that will later lead us to the upper floors of this place. This section of the house we were discussing has also been added on later, later than that part over there. But not too late. Not too late, no. but we don't know those exact dates of that construction. Yeah. Oh, oh, yep, there's a hole there. There's a hole in the floor. <laughs> we should also put a note there. Yeah, there's, there's literally... Yeah, oh. I, yep, I felt it. Yeah, yeah, that's a massive hole. Okay, yeah. watch out. We have. I'm gonna just put this here so yeah. we don't step on it. This is one of those traditional sinks, Danny. Uh, it, it's not traditional, but it's the style of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. Not a room. I think a children's bedroom we have over here. Not too special, but yeah, not this really. is uh, an indication of how many people lived and slept in this place it's at a certain point. Again, you can see the whole ceiling is just deteriorating away. Yeah, in the floor too. There's like oh, holes everywhere. Oh, it's very bad in this room. Yeah. I hadn't even seen it. This literally brings you, you fall, you fall right into the spider webs. Yeah. Oh, watch out, Danny. It's fine, I will help you. No, you have to turn to the other yeah. side. Light literally falls off the camera. Yeah, I have to touch the door. I'm sorry, guys. Spiders everywhere. There's spiders everywhere, yeah. yeah this, is, this is the bathroom. 
like we told you, they added this one on later. This is new sections of the household. Yeah, not looks, very... Looks a bit more modern. Yeah, not very interesting. No. Still, you get a sense of where they wash themselves. I, I'm always in front of the camera. <laughs> now you, you saw don't that. Have to, you don't have to say... You have to say hi. I'm just saying hi to people. <laughs> and here at the end... Uh, Oh, these are the same ones, the notes you were talking about, then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these look even more impressive. Yeah, these are way more impressive. I don't know about this one, but I'm pretty sure this is something with Normandy. I'm not sure. I was trying to Google it, but I'm not sure. It's beautiful. The, the gold inlet here, the, the pictures, depictions over here, probably all handwritten, hand-painted. I, yeah. That's amazing. Crazy. Here's another f side door. I have no idea. You can see even the keys are literally just hanging here. You can take over this house if you want. Yep. Porta. Yeah. Okay, let's look into this room first. Oh, this is a small children's bedroom, as you all can see all the crib so this is the baby crib and the small beds from when they were younger are all still in here wait before you go danny look at these these are pictures of venice italy yeah that's where i'm gonna take you later on this trip nice <laughs> yeah. mirror i can say hi again <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have another bed frame, iron bed frame, very typical for Portugal, not, I would say, a cheaper form of bed frame. It's not a cheaper form, back in the day this was very... Yeah, it was fancy? It was not like fancy fancy, but it, it was, yeah, it was something. Look who slept here. Yeah. Rita, one of the children of the place. Rita was the daughter of the place. Granddaughter, I think. Could have been, yeah. We're not 100% sure of that. Beautiful chair again. Now we have one last room over on this floor. <gasps> and I love this bed. Every time I see these high beds, these high spirals on the side, it always reminds me of movies, of princesses and castles. Of a heaven bed, it reminds me of. Oh, there's a beautiful chandelier. Old glass. Let's look on the sides over here. You can see religious artifacts depicting. Young man. Picture frame. The young man. I love how they always had a sink inside of their room. I don't even have a sink inside of my room, but back in the time, people yeah. always had this sort of sinks inside of their room, and it's, yeah. it's really beautiful. Have you seen the praying yeah. beads hanging on the side of the bed? Wow. For that look hand handcarved, handmade. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Whoa. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's the house. It's the outside of the house, back in the time, before there was even anything in this village. Yeah, but, yeah, you see, nothing of this exists now. No, it's like a complete park now in front of it, but it's amazing. It's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. More artifacts over here. And this is one of those similar notes, I think. Uh, not really. Resembles it a little bit, right? Kind of. Yeah. But this is more religious. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> okay. They really loved putting the. Uh, this is Templars the Templars cross. Yeah, Templars on. cross. Yeah. They love putting it everywhere. Just looking at these, and I'm just not sure that look like working tools or plows. This looks like a plow. Oh, plow. Why would that be in here? There's one last section of the house that we have to show you, and that's the upper floors. Let's go there.
the upper parts of the house. I always love to go up here and see how it's like. Because not a lot of people get to see this ever. See all the beautiful paintings. Or oh, no, these are not paintings, these are depictions, right? Or this is pictures. photos, yeah. Printed photos. These vintage people. This one looks completely 3D. Wow. No, that's a photo of, of a statue. A statue, yeah. But I think these are just famous people. Yeah, looks like it. I love how much light floods into these upper floors here. Yeah. They had skylights all throughout the house. And it's actually a very smart idea. Because then they didn't need to turn on lights or yeah. light candles back in the time. Yeah, true. But this is not made for my height. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit taller than this. I but. think I can pass without any problems. Yeah, you're Portuguese, of course. <laughs> the people back in the time were probably like this. Yeah. 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 So they didn't need that. Okay, the lights doesn't function up here anymore? Yeah, no. Nothing functions. What's this also? A little shrine? Shrine, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Okay, come inside of this teeny tiny room over here and let's check out this small bedroom of a person that lived inside of this house. Yep, again. Templars cross on the bed. They must have something to do. They definitely... The, the family had something to do with... They had historical ties with the Templars yeah. and with the religious uh, community as well. Yeah. For sure. Wow, look at these windows over here. Beautiful wood, wooden windows, uh, windows, shutters, and then this candle holder in the middle of it. Beautiful bed frame back there as well. Oh my, Danny. I'm not gonna go yeah, too far. Yeah, we are not, oh. Hoo -hoo. It's very dangerous we, in here. Yeah. But the boots are still standing underneath the nightstand over there. And they are cork ones. They are cork boots. Are you kidding me? Wow, the soles of the boots are made from cork. Yeah, I've been showing Portugal to Leslie. Yeah. And there's so much stuff that cork we make with cork. Everywhere. <laughs> literally, we make yeah. everything with cork, literally. Another sink, but this one is a magnitude more beautiful than the other ones. I also love this door that we have over here. It's exactly cut <laughs> in the shape of the ceiling and the doorway over here. Wow. Oh. Old. And also this cabinet here to the side is in the same style, the Templars logo on it and also cross. made cross and also made to fit with the curve of the ceiling. All the clothes of the person are still inside of there, jackets and everything. It's just absolutely wonderful. Okay, let's go further. Left or right? You tell me. Let's go left. This side first? Okay. It's a little bit bigger bedroom on this side. Not very fancy, but again, two beds in here. I think we have already counted like six or seven Ooh. beds by now. This is bad. Wow. The place a lot of buckets here to catch the water, but it's not, yeah. not helping at all. This is bad. I feel like these places with such history should be saved, but it's just not possible. There's no tourists coming in this section of Portugal. There's no economic sense to save a place like this. Yeah. And there's just too many of these, in my opinion, as well. Aren't there? Like, what? Portugal is full of these places. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you just cannot save all of them. Yeah, no, it's really hard. Love these pictures. All the birds sitting on electrical wires. And then here, this one. Oh, please watch be out, Leslie. Oh, very careful. Okay. You can see this woman washing her clothes in the river. Yeah. Back in the days. Yeah. That was how that was the way it. to do it. Small, narrow doorway leading us to, to another section. Over to this side, they also have bedrooms, as you can see. Can briefly show them. Yeah, they're not very interesting. They're not pretty at all. <laughs> no. But yeah, they had downstairs had bedrooms, upstairs they had bedrooms, probably all retrofitted after some time. 
for a little bit more luxury, of course. Yeah. And over here is another bedroom with four spare beds, as you can see. Okay, and then we still have this section over here on the upper floors. Oh yeah, it also holds two bedrooms. Left. Left. Rise for me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Might this have been the master bedroom? Uh, this is a pretty large bed, I would say. I don't think so. And here we have the cross of the Order of Christ. Exactly. He's wow. learning. I don't know it. Look at that. Yeah. It turns around even. All of them turn around. It's a very unique bed that they had over here. Probably handmade for these people. And who doesn't want to sleep in a bed of the Order of Christ? <laughs> I want. You feel protected by it. Yeah. Here we have a small vanity where a woman could make herself beautiful in the morning. Or a man. Or a man. A very heavy mirror. Oh my god, this weighs at least five kilos, I think. It's completely made out of copper. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> I love this corner seat as well that we have over here. It matches with these balls, it matches the bed itself, the ladder seat underneath there. Behind us here, of the drawer. Oh jeez. No sorry, worries, guys. Danny. Mistakes happen. The drawer, with all the clothes and everything, still inside of it. Again, a very lovely bedroom to my opinion. Well, of course, the sink in the corner there as well. I am not sure how this is called in English. Do you know it? I, in English, I don't know. I know that it's a heater in Dutch, but in English, I don't know. But I really love how it's made out of metal. Very beautiful one. Just had to show it for a second. And that begs the question again, Danny. What's in the chest? Three, two, one. Blankets. Blanket. Are you gonna open all of them in this house? Oh. Why is your country always the same? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many chests in this house. I think if you open all of them, they're no. just gonna have blankets. blankets. Yes. Before I show that room, there's one over here. That, oh. It leads into a little patio. Echoey. Echo. Uh, this is where the oh. woman would hang up all the clothes. Try the clothes. Probably very hot in here in the summer. Oh, these windows. Aren't they magnificent? Stained. And stained and tinted glass windows all around. The beautiful colors. They loved color in this place. They love color in Portugal in general. Yeah. Lots of things are made with beautiful colors. The cities, the houses, everything. Wow. That leads us to the last room. The last room? It's sad. That's very sad. It's really, really sad. The last but not least. My boy, enter inside. Ooh. Oh. No, this was definitely the master bedroom. Yeah, this bed is huge. This is like a king size bed. And yeah. it's, it's also a very, very beautiful bed. Hand carved. As you can see, it doesn't have a mattress anymore. But just imagine it, it made definitely the mother and the father of the family. Donna and João. João. João slept in here. Even the nightstands completely match this house, uh, this bed. Whoa. That just scared the living out of me. Oh my gosh. It looks like there are just two drawers, but it's yeah. actually just folds open. Oh my god, that also scared me. To go. Wow. That is, that is just beautiful copper work. Have you looked behind you already? 
Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. There is a religious display cabinet. A, a shrine display cabinet, as you could say. Left here. Completely carved out of wood. In every single corner. Wow. There would be a statue of Maria or Jesus in here, I think. Sand, yeah. The sand. Whatever you want to put it. The same one as we saw downstairs in that in that shrine. Yeah, yeah. That would also have been in here. Probably a wooden one. But it's not present anymore. And it looks like it's almost, if you touch it, it probably falls yeah. apart. And a little washing table over to this side. They had a real fancy sink inside of here with a jug and everything. look at this wonderful room and this wonderful house I want to thank the Sarmento family for their beautiful lives and we are so happy that we could bring this story to life and show it to you all Danny what did you think about this place uh, uh, breathtaking I, I'm I don't know I don't speechless, know to, right yeah, yeah speechless. that's also the word I can describe it with yeah speechless if you all like this video, if you are also speechless by this place, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and write a nice comment in the comment section. There's also a link in the description for Patreon and there you can help us and support us to go and film more of these incredible places. With that all said, I want to thank you very, very much for watching this week's video and we will see you next week in another amazing episode. Bye bye. <laughs>